Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you uh, today. Uh, is the day after SummerSlam. Uh, I think it's the 18th. It's somewhere around there. Um, I just got back uh, and I'm going to get dressed. And I'm going to go to work. I know that it's a shock that I, I flew down to Los Angeles. I flew back and I'm already um, you know, getting in my truck and going to work. But uh, today's hot rumor is you know, what is going to happen on uh, Monday Night Raw tonight. Uh, basically, there's lots of thoughts about, you know, what is Brock Lesnar's next opponent going to be? Lots of talk of uh, Roman Reigns winning the biggest match of his career last night, beating Randy Orton at SummerSlam. Uh, is he the next guy to get the next promotion into the main event uh, to feel the wrath of Brock Lesnar? Is John Cena going to uh, use his rematch clause? Or is, you know, the beating that he took from Brock Lesnar just going to be too bad to the point of he has to... Uh, take some time off from wrestling, uh, film the movie project that he has set up with uh, uh, Jed Apatow, and uh, basically come back at another date uh, with another role. Basically, in my mind, uh, for Brock Lesnar's you know, title run, uh, there's only a few guys out there that I think it could uh, have this happen. Like When you think of Brock Lesnar holding this title all the way until WrestleMania, I can only think of, you know basically, there's John Cena, Roman Reigns, and The Rock as three guys inside of the company. Uh, I don't know why, but I keep forgetting about the wild card on the outside, and that is Batista. Batista is the guy that I keep hearing, you know, will show up at uh, Raw tonight and challenge Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship, and, uh, you know, that will set up the big Night of Champions match. Uh, if you're trying to push, you know, big matches in order to uh, get people to get on the network and, and the pay-per-views, uh, being streamed live for only nine ninety nine a month, um, you know, and you're going to start out with SummerSlam yesterday, uh, which would have been the first pay per view for the people overseas uh, to get, you know, John Cena versus Brock Lesnar, then go to a Batista uh, versus Brock Lesnar feud. Um, I mean, those are two of the biggest matches that the WWE is able to offer. Two big dudes going in there and throwing down. As far as I can think, I've never seen Brock Lesnar and Batista have a match in the WWE before. If it did happen, it was during a time period when I wasn't into wrestling. But I don't even really know if those two things mash up because I think that Batista debuted after Brock Lesnar had, had, had left um, in my mind. Well, they were both on the WrestleMania 20 card, now that I think about it, with Batista being the Evolution versus Rock and Sock. And then, you know, Brock Lesnar uh, versus Goldberg in that big uh, Madison Square Garden WrestleMania 20 show. They were both there. So maybe they do line up, but I don't think they would have had a match, both being heel um, at that time. But basically, I think Batista debuting would be huge. Um, I think it could lead to what I think a lot of people seeing is uh, basically Batista versus uh, Triple H come uh, uh, WrestleMania. Uh, 31 time, I think that is a big match that people would want to see, you know, a rematch 10 years later of one of the biggest WrestleManias of all time, WrestleMania 21. Um, basically with, uh, you know, Batista taking enough crap from Triple H, uh, basically removing himself from evolution and saying that he's, he, he learned everything he could learn uh, from Triple H. Now he's going to take it off on his own. He wasn't going to be the uh, the muscle behind uh, behind him. Uh, just, you know, just sort of being the puppet with Triple H pulling the strings all the time. Um, I heard an interview with Batista on uh, Live Audio Wrestling, The Law. Uh, it was it was real short and it was to the point. Uh, that one interview is the one reason that I think that maybe Batista might not be coming back to wrestling as soon as everybody thinks. Um, he basically, you know, took shots at WWE saying that the WrestleMania payday wasn't as good as it was. Um, nobody really understands the network. He didn't understand why the wrestlers are the ones taking the uh, the fall for WWE losing money with the network right now, basically saying that they're not getting paid as much as they did in the past uh, because the company is losing money on the network. They're sort of putting that off on the wrestlers as there's a less less you know pay per view cut uh, for them to get. You know they used to get seventy dollars um, you know every time somebody ordered the show. Now they're only getting ten dollars a month. Uh, for everybody ordering the show, so it's sort of taken their pay grade way down. Um, I'm sure WWE will work it out. Um, Batista seemed to enjoy his last run, even with everybody booing him and going crazy. I sort of felt sorry for him a little bit. Uh, that basically the fans took this WrestleMania away from him. You know, he's supposed to come in and get the big win. But according to me, by watching that Batista documentary that came out, uh, I think that Batista is just happy to be there. 
And uh, he seems to, to be a guy who understands the wrestling business. He understands the fans. And if they want to boo him, they can boo him. And he's going to be the best heel they can be. But, uh, you know, the way he left last time, you know, leaving Evolution high and dry, you got to think that uh, he's got to come back as a huge baby face. Coming back, him versus Brock Lesnar is one of the biggest matches they can have, especially with him coming back out of the uh, uh, Marvel movie that he just made, the... Uh, I don't know. I didn't watch comic book movies except for uh, Spider Man, the Galaxy, or whatever it was. You got to think that he's a big star. Maybe he'll have some markability going with the TMZ. Uh, maybe they'll want to cover this, and uh, maybe it'll get some national exposure of a big movie star like the, not really on the rock stature, but basically, uh, you know, moving towards, you know, being in a big match for the title at Night of Champions. Peace out, everybody.